Coastal Maine is getting ready for Hurricane Lee this weekend. Grace Bradley caught up with business owners to see how they're getting ready. With great scenic views comes great responsibility, especially when it comes to extreme weather. Ahead of Hurricane Lee this weekend, coastal businesses are using the calm before the storm to prepare. We'll go around and we'll take all the signs in, trash cans, lay benches over on their sides. We have a couple of greens and tees that are right on the ocean. We'll push everything back up out of uh, the wind's way. Grindstone Neck Golf Course in Winter Harbor is surrounded by Scudic Peninsula. And with heavy rains ahead of Lee, the greens are already feeling the effect. The grass is already saturated, the turf, our greens are wet. We're going to be closed until Sunday anyways, probably either Monday or Tuesday with all the rain we've had. In Stuben, lobstermen are hitting the water to secure their assets. I've taken up half my traps and shifted the other half inside into Pigeon Hill Bay, hoping for some cover while this hurricane hits. I've taken up 120 in the last three days, but uh, I still have 120 out there right now. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I haven't been fishing too long, but I've been fishing long enough to know that 70, 80 mile an hour winds in here, 20, 25 foot seas is not gonna be very good. The already rainy, wet summer we've had has been detrimental to businesses. We're down from where we were last year. We lost pretty much the whole month of June, half of July. It was wet. We had a better August, but September's been pretty much a loss. If the weather's bad, it rains, we lose all business. Nobody comes to play. Although I suspect there'll be people that want to play in a hurricane. And the fog is what's been killing us the most because it's hard to see your traps and and you might miss one every now and then. And overall, you just miss out on money. Summer weather in general has not been very good. And this on top of it, Hurricane Lee is really, you know, ending off the summer in a great way. Grace Bradley, WABI TV5 News.